Hello guys, welcome back to Mad for French Cars. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be servicing this Peugeot 407 1.6 HDI. We're going to be changing the oil, oil filter, fuel filter and an air filter in it. It needs a good service. These engines, 1.6 engines, they require good service every 8 to 10,000 miles. I've neglected mine for a little while, so it's been way over that. So I definitely need service. So let me just go and grab the stuff we're gonna need. Just gonna pop the hood and I'm gonna put all the stuff we need here. Let's pop your hood, first thing, and let me grab the stuff and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so let's quickly go through what we're gonna need. So for engine oil, I'm using 5W30, fully synthetic, suitable for petrol and diesel engines. For 1.6, it's absolutely fine. I got a new fuel filter looks like this okay right you can see new air filter and a new oil filter is just a cartridge and it always comes with a seal with a round seal obviously we're gonna need this for filling up the new oil I think what we're gonna start with is we're gonna start with going jacking up the car going underneath the car and literally getting our old oil out all right guys so before you jack up the car make sure your handbrake is on properly so the car wouldn't roll backwards then what you want to do you want to place your jack and then jack the car up Now we're just gonna put some axle stands. Right, so if you have a ramp or somewhere to put your car on a way that you could go under it, just do that. It's a personal choice. It's just that's what I use. It doesn't have to be what everybody uses. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just jack the car up and put it on an axle stand so that the front of the car would be. Okay, so we're gonna jack the, this side now up as well. Make sure the car is nice and high. Okay, that should do the job. Down a bit more. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna let it go on the axle stand. So now your car sits nicely on the axle stands. And now we can proceed to go underneath the engine and release the old oil out. Right, so next step is to release your oil, old oil out of your 1.6 HDI. We you wanna get, I have this washing bowl, which is five liters. So that should be more than enough for my old oil to come out ideally get something which would be at least five liters and then we're gonna need to undo some plug which is size 21 so i'm gonna use this size 21 head and quite a big brake bar whatever so we're gonna go underneath now and undo the sump plug right guys so as you can see here is your sump plug under your 1.6 hdi what you need to do is you need to put size 21 head on it and you need to turn it anti-clockwise okay so i'm turning it anti-clockwise as soon as i turn it a little bit he, I can actually do it and do it probably with my hands. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to undo by hands, but I'm gonna grab this tool again. I'm just gonna grab the head. See if I can undo it with that. Yeah, you can do it by hand. This is quite easy. I'm just gonna put my five liter 
bowl underneath so that oil goes nicely in it. We're gonna reuse the same sump plug and also a washer it comes with. So I'm just gonna keep these in here. And I'll just wait for my oil to come out. And while my oil is coming out, we're gonna go take an oil filter off. Air filter off and fuel filter off. Okay, so while we letting our old oil go out, I'm just gonna take this thing here because I'm gonna eventually need to take you off anyway because I want to change the fuel filter as well. So we're gonna start. Uh, you might have a different screw in here. Just see which screw you have. You have to normally undo one screw in here. Keep it safe. And then it's a 10 millimeter bolt in here usually, which is easily to undo, which keeps this air intake in place, leading to the air filter. Okay, so once these ones are undone, this bit here only clips into the air filter box. So normally you can just pull it out like that. Uh, my one is quite worn. So I'm just gonna put this aside. Now you can clearly see your fuel filter, but in a minute you're gonna be able to see it even more clear because we're gonna be taking off all this as well. So what you wanna do now, you want to disconnect your battery because you're gonna be disconnecting mass airflow sensor and stuff, so don't wanna cause any errors. Then you can disconnect your mass airflow sensor in here. It's just like that, just disconnect it. Next thing you wanna do is you want to take a screwdriver, cross screwdriver. It's gonna be two um, screws for the top of the air intake cover. All right, my guys, so next step is I want to remove this old bit here, which is a basically mass airflow sensor, a um, little connection from a breather from your rocket cover, and also um, air filter housing, air filter box top of it. So I want to do that because I want a better access for my fuel filter, which I'm going to be replacing. And I'm going to be using a screwdriver, cross screwdriver. Right, it's a two screws here, which if you undo them, you're going to be able to actually take a top of the air filter box cover off. I'm just going to do that. I undo these two screws. Once these two screws is undone a little bit, you can pull them up a little bit and just keep undoing them tiny bit, but just leave them in place. Same with another side, just pull it up a little bit and just kind of undo it a little bit. So that's gonna let us to separate top of a uh, air filter housing box from the bottom. All right, my guys, so as soon as I undone these two top screws here, as you can see, we are out quite a bit. Now I can literally press this clamp here to be able to move my plastic bit here from the turbo. So let me just position my camera a little bit so you could see Okay, what I'm doing here. I'm just moving this off a turbo and this bit comes off of my breather and now I can actually pull the whole top of my air filter as you can see so we're gonna be putting this aside now and we're gonna be I just put some sponges here before because I wanted to stop some rattling what I'm gonna be doing now I can remove I can remove my old air filter straight away so as you can see it's not been serviced for a while, it's really old, so we're going to be putting a new air filter in, in this place. 
so I'm gonna put that away what you can see here as well is now the cover of your oil filter cover and what I want to do here is I literally want to take size 27 head and undo my cover of my oil filter anti-clockwise So that's my oil filter, which we're gonna be replacing. So I'm just gonna be tidying up this little oil filter housing a little bit, and we're gonna be putting a new one in then. Okay, so I've got myself some clean cloth. What I wanna do, I just like to tidy up. I'm not saying you have to. It's not really, it's not really that bad really. But it's a good idea to tidy up a tiny bit. Okay, so that looks all okay. What I want to do now with this, what I want to do with this old oil filter here, is you just want to pull it upwards a little bit so that it would come off like this. And you can see how it sits. I hope you can see so that's how your oil filter sits okay so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna tidy up everywhere here just all the clean up that old oil so the cover looks nice now Right now, I'm gonna take off the oil filter housing seal off so I can use even probably I don't know where's my screwdriver. Right, we have a screwdriver, well, not really, it should just come off easy. Yeah, you go as long as I can grip, have a little grip on it, and just take off this old oil filter housing seal because the new filter comes with this seal so just tidy up again and what you want to do you want to take your new oil filter okay and the seal it comes with and the seal goes back nicely onto here onto the same place where the old old seal was adjust it make sure it sits nicely my one didn't come nicely first time so let me just have a good look where did I go wrong one second. right guys so once the seal is on your oil filter cap we want to do you want to take a new oil filter place it in a cap and just press it a little bit and it nicely clips in so what we're going to be doing now we're just going to be putting it back in the same place in the oil filter housing and we're going to have to do it up clockwise up to 25 nanometers of strength okay so now what I'm gonna be doing I'm just literally gonna take 27 head and just do the oil filter up Ideally, you just do it until it's, it doesn't want to do up more and you are good to go. So that's your oil filter has been replaced. 
we're going to be doing now we're going to be going under the car and we're going to put a sump plug back into place so we could fill the car up with a fresh oil okay so now looks like all my oil my old oil is out so what you want to do you want to come back to your sump where is the sump plug hole and you want to make sure some plug has a copper washer on it and then what you want to do you just want to put some plug nicely back in and just screw it by hand as much as you can and once you can't then you just have to use the same 21 size 21 head to tighten it up so i'm just gonna grab my tool and tighten it up is a clockwise so we're just gonna do that now it's a bit oily here for me so what it does is just slips now nevertheless do your sump plug up properly nice and tight with that copper washer crash and become a good seal beautiful right some plug is back in the place nice and tight i can remove this bowl with all the old oil out Stick. and so what we're going to be doing now is just going to be disconnecting this old fuel filter and putting a new one in a place of this one so what you want to do you want to disconnect here as you can see is one plug here one plug here and there is one more underneath that one plugs is like typical french car plugs press on the sides and it just comes off i'm just gonna disconnect this one okay so it's two plugs like that if you can see and one connector what you want to do next is you want to press here and literally pull this whole thing up Sometimes it takes a bit of strength, so I'm just going to keep my camera on the side while I'm doing it. Here we go. It looks like it's a full of, full of diesel still. Right. And now I can show you one more thing. Right. So now, as you can see, this is your oil old fuel filter right I hope you can see well um, let me just position my camera slightly better so you could see better okay this is the old fuel filter right you see this bit here we want to do is you want to pull that bit off so what you want to do here is prime it a tiny bit on the top and then you should be able to pull to pull it out of a place sometimes you have to prime it here a little bit here you go it came off a little bit too fast faster than i expected your new filter comes with these two new seals on on this bit here so i think we're going to be changing them as well so the new filter comes with these two seals as you can see it pops here you're not going to need this you can also take this little thing off as well just here what you want to do now is you want to take this little thing here take those two old seals off okay it doesn't want to come off that easy one is off as you can see and the second one is gonna be off as well in a second just want to get it off a little bit sometimes it's a bit of a headache to take them off but you have to know if if, if it comes with this that means it's a good idea to replace them why not here we go so the second one is off as well gonna be 
cleaning this up a little bit here we go now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting a new seat two new seals on that one and second one nice and tight seals good seals so here's your seals now done what you want to do and now you have your new fuel filter you want to take this bit and literally same way you're gonna stick this bit into here so you just point that little bit into a hole here and literally press it and it clips in that's all you need to do okay there is a, another socket here as you can see that's for the plug which is not used i'll show you this plug now it's the one with a blue blue connector that plug is not used it's for nothing really so you don't need to worry about it too much you take your new fuel filter you put it in the same place here sorry like this and what you want to do now once once you put your fuel filter in the place you want to connect this green plug back on the top right here okay and these connectors is gonna have to go on your fuel filter now we're just gonna check which one right okay so this one is gonna go on top now that one is gonna go on the bottom as you can see one here and one here the blue connector as i showed you before is hiding there somewhere in a, this one is gonna go in the bottom of your fuel filter but it's not important it doesn't actually do nothing and now you're gonna have to prime your fuel filter here so that it fill up with fuel so you wouldn't kill your battery by trying to start your car all right guys so like i said your fuel filter is empty at the moment what you want to do ideally is prime this little pump on top of your engine which is normally under your engine cover for a good 10-15 minutes probably until your fuel filter fills up with fuel because otherwise if you just try to start it with an empty fuel filter what's going to happen is going to take your the whole battery life away from you because it's just going to kill the battery while you're trying to start sometimes it takes like half hour 20 minutes wherever it's trying to start and obviously the battery is not charging so unless you have someone with jump leads or two batteries or something then just keep priming this eventually it's gonna get hard once it gets hard that's a good sign that your fuel filter is actually filling up with a fuel that's what you want before you attempt to start the car but we still have to fuel up the fresh oil we still have to change put a new air filter in so let's just prime it this one for a bit i'm gonna prime it until it's hard and i'm gonna leave it so now where your air filter sits your air filter housing box i usually put a bit of sponge underneath it because there is a pipe with a coolant um, and sometimes the air filter housing rubs that pipe and it starts to leak so that's quite common now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a new air filter and I'm gonna be placing it into the air filter box. Once my air Alright guys, so once your air filter is here, when you take a top of it, you'll see these plastics here. These plastics, they have to go in the little holes. I hope you can see, there's one here, two and three. As long as they go on to those holes, you'll be fine just need to match it up you can use both hands to move your 
air box, air filter housing box a little bit and try to feel it with both hands. Make sure it goes in nicely into where it's supposed to go. Right, so I think I've done it. And now what you wanna do, you wanna do up these screws tiny little bit so that it would all stays in place nicely. So you take your screwdriver and you just do up them screws. One screw's done, one more screw to go. Okay, so once this is done, what you can do is you can position your air filter housing a little bit as a whole and these cl clips normally here it sits on a little pins my ones doesn't because it is broken however what you can do now is also put your bit here back into a breather and this bit here goes back onto your turbo right so once these bits are here and done you can also connect your mass airflow sensor back up where it's supposed to be okay. all right guys so once my oil filter is done fuel filter is done air filter is done what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna drop my car back off the axle stands as i know i need it to be lifted and then we're gonna fill up the fresh oil so as you can see, I jack my car up again and now I'm just going to remove these axle stands and just drop my car off. Here we go. We're going to do the same on the other side as well. Right guys, so we now lift the other side of the car up a little bit just to take it as an axle stand. Okay, so axle stand is off. Release the car back on the wheels. Okay, and now we're gonna go put the new oil into a car. Right, so to put the new oil into a car, you just open your oil cap. You take something like this for yourself, um, like a plastic fennel. And what you want, you grab your 5W30 fully synthetic oil. 1.6 HDI for Peugeot 407 takes 3.5 liters of oil. We're gonna put that into the engine now. Okay, so it looks like I've done already probably about two and a half liters. We're gonna check on a dipstick in a minute. And dipstick is gonna show us how much oil we already poured in. So that's that looks about right. We wanna do now is literally pull your dipstick, which is located just here. So you pull your dipstick and just clean it up, give it a good clean so you could see measurement. 
and the oil should be between this bit here and this bit here now it looks like it's more than enough it looks like it's full of oil so we're just gonna leave it like that it look, looks like it's just right up to the maximum so we still have over a liter of oil left in, our, in a, this little plastic canister and I'm just gonna do my fuel cap up and put my dip, dipstick back in and now the service for your car has been completed since we changed the fuel filter make sure you prime this bed here until it's hard until it's proper hard and it's hard to prime this bit here you have to press it right so as long as you do that you're not gonna have no problems to start your car thank you for all right guys so once we had fuel up the oil also please don't forget you still have this bit of the air intake to put back on so normally this end goes inside the goes inside the air filter housing and this end goes in here now you can do your 10 millimeter bolt back in here on the bolt here we go we got our bolt so we're just gonna do this bolt up Okay, and normally in here you have some sort of screw holding it in place, holding it together. So I'm just I just gotta hit this screw. As long as there's something here, it should be absolutely fine. Just screws into here just to hold this back in place. What you wanna do now, you wanna put your battery back together, back on. Right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you find this video useful, please subscribe my channel. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, always reply to my comments. So I'll be more than happy to, to help as much as I can.